All right, well, the Indy 500 now just a few days away, and we are joined by Brian Clausen. He got 28th at pole day, and that's where he'll be starting on Sunday. Well, welcome, Brian. This is your third Indy 500. What's the preparation like this time around than maybe from your first time where it wasn't that long ago? Uh, well, it's certainly uh, be doing it back-to-back -back years is, is certainly helpful. Uh, my timing has been a little bit bad because it seems like uh, every year we have a little bit of uh, different arrow changes and, and some of the some of the new rules with uh, some of the under uh, under wing uh, changes has uh, kind of thrown all our info from last year out the window. So it's been uh, kind of starting from square one, but uh, it's been a, a lot of fun going through the process and uh, working to get better each day. And uh, uh, finally, feel like uh, the end of this uh, past week we, we got our car pretty close, and uh, we're really looking forward to race day. And you're one of the younger racers in this year's field. What's it been like just getting to interact with the different racers? I mean, we just talked to Bay Lazier. Like, what was what is it like talking to some of these guys that you grew up watching? Yeah, for me, it's 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 an awesome experience. You know, I, I, I'm an Indiana guy. I, I grew up, uh, you know, 45 minutes from the Speedway. Spent a lot of time as a kid going out there, uh, especially on practice days and, and qualifying. And uh, you know, some some of the guys that uh, you know I watched as, as a little kid are, are still there, so they get really mad when I remind them of that. But uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun for me to kind of go in and, and, and get to talk to, to some of my heroes and, and uh, you know get to uh, you know run wheel to wheel with them on, uh, on on race day. Folks at the station get mad when I remind them how much younger I am too. <laughs> a 2007 Noblesville grad. How special is running Indy for you? You know, Indianapolis is, is so special for any race car driver. Uh, I like to I like to call it the Disneyland for racers. It's you know the happiest place on earth er, on earth for us. It's uh, it's what everybody uh, dreams of, of of getting to. And uh, you know, for me, um, you know, as a race car driver, it's 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 so special. But to to be from Indianapolis and, and to grow up around the month of May and, and uh, you know be a part you know spend part of my childhood going you know, out to the speedway and, and looking forward to every May. It's uh, you know, it's hard to put into words what it what it really means, and uh, it's just uh, it's a special time. You know, not only for myself, but uh, friends and family, and, and everybody in the community. Uh, you, you can tell everybody gets excited uh, when May's coming around. And with all of the excitement, a lot of excitement around your career too. As one of the budding drivers, what sort of mark do you want to leave on this year's Indy 500? Well, for me this year, it's about making 500 miles. I I, I didn't get get the opportunity to do that last year, so. Uh, you know, for me, it's 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 having a solid race. You know, it's uh, uh, I feel like we've we've done the the preparation and, and done the work this uh, past week to get our car, um, you know, really good in traffic. And uh, you know, it's not you know, obviously everybody shows up to win, but for, but for us in, in year um, you know three, but you know five four years five years removed from my first Indianapolis 500, it's about those those valuable miles and and, and, and finishing the race. And I think if we put all 500 in. Uh, we got a car that's good enough to uh, to make our way towards the front. And you had a little bit of a Tony Stewart-like <laughs> upbringing where you started on dirt track and then made your way to IndyCar. What sort of tools or tricks did you learn maybe doing dirt that have transferred over and you found success with here? Uh, you know, the biggest thing that dirt taught me was, was how to adapt. Um, you know, the, the cars are so different. Uh, and it, as well as the driving styles, because uh, I promise you, no Indy car driver wants to get sideways going into the corner. So that's what I'm used to. I love it, but uh, uh, you know, even I don't really have the don't really yearn to, to, to pitch it into turn one in Indianapolis. So uh, you know, for me, it's the adaptability. It's to be able to to, to race a, a sprint car on on uh, you know Friday, Saturday, hop in the Indy car Sunday, or or uh, you know whatever challenge the track uh, throws at us in a certain day. Uh, you, you learn to work, you know, through it and, and, and learn to, to figure out what you need. Uh, you know, I'm used to jumping in and out of, of sprint cars, you know, quarter mile one night, half mile the next, pavement the next day. So uh, that adaptability and, and, and learning to, uh, you know, be able to change your driving style uh, from, from lap to lap or, or day to day is, is very important at the Speedway, uh, you know, because it, it changes, you know, one or two degrees in ambient temperature changes, changes the Speedway a lot. And it will be really variable heading into Sunday's race as you go into this practice week with rain in the forecast pretty much every day <laughs> but Sunday. How does that affect your preparation? Yeah, we'll certainly be dodging raindrops all week. But, uh, you know, fortunately last week we, we had a pretty good week um, you know, to be able to prepare. You know, obviously spent some of that time uh, working on qualifying stuff. But uh, had, a, had a great day on, on Monday. Uh, a lot of action. It was uh, 
uh, wild out there and a lot of cars running and, and a lot of us were really focused on, on uh, race uh, race setups our final race preparations because we you know we look ahead we, we know know what's coming and uh, you know certainly uh, uh, we've had a lot of laps on the track so the rain will change that a little bit um, but I think uh, you know, we've all been working towards the same goal of, of of making the race cars, uh, you know, pretty flexible and, and adaptable to certain conditions. So we have a lot of data to look back on, and, and uh, no matter what uh, race day throws at us, we'll, we'll take our best guess at it. How is preparing your car different from doing it on a dirt track or in the <laughs> Xfinity series to IndyCar? Well, you're looking at a lot smaller margins. You know, we, we raise and lower the cars, you know, millimeters, not. Uh, you know, I, my difference in tires on my sprint car are, are, are in inches. You know, I, I run a lot of stagger. I run eight, ten inches of stagger in my sprint car. We're talking millimeters in, in, in Indy car. So the margins become very small. Uh, the number crunching is, is a lot more uh, intense. Uh, you know, just a change in ambient temperature changes how much downforce we have uh, in the car without making a single adjustment to the race car. So it's uh, it's certainly more uh, number driven. Very very much more technical and, and very much more intense. And last year's Indy 500 practice week, really dangerous. It seemed like there were a lot of crashes. How do you keep it safe? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the series has done a great job of addressing some of the issues we saw last year. Uh, it, we, we, fortunately, we haven't had too many guys get turned around this year, but uh, the couple times we have seen incidents, uh, it seems like the, the, the flaps and, and the, the new dome skid have seemed to do what they intended to do when cars get turned around, got turned around. Uh, we didn't see the lift that we were seeing last year. And, uh, and, and the speeds are, you know, the same or, or up a little bit from last year. So, uh, you know, it's good to see that. And, and uh, from a driver's standpoint, it, it's hard because you're trying to, uh, you know, mimic the racing conditions and, and you're trying to make moves and put yourselves in positions that you're going to see in the race. Uh, but there's certainly a, a little bit more give and take on, on practice day than, uh, uh, than you're going to see on Sunday. And a couple more questions for you. Since you're from the area, who's coming out to watch you on Sunday? <laughs> I bet it's the hottest ticket in town. Gosh, no one can get yeah, into it's, that it's, 100th it's hard. Well, Yeah, I mean, sold it's out. Uh, sold out. You know, so they're going to be spending a lot of time uh, in the infield if they haven't got their tickets yet, uh, which there's a lot of cool stuff going on in the infield. So that, <laughs> that, that can be fun, too. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot of friends and family. I actually have some, some, some family members from out of town flying in. So, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting. It's uh, you know the month of May, as special as it is for as it is for me. I think it's a lot of fun for my friends and family as well to get the opportunity to uh, uh, you know come see me on on the biggest stage and, and uh, you know it's uh, it makes a lot of the time I missed in school or a lot of birthdays I miss seem uh, seem a little bit more legit. <laughs> I would say so. I would say they're <laughs> a little bit more legit. All right, last question: What is the one thing you're looking forward to the most come Sunday? I'm just looking forward to taking it all in. You know, it's uh, it's still just my third Indianapolis 500. I think uh, year one, you, you spend so much time trying to stay focused on the race, and, and not that not that I won't be on Sunday, but um, you know, we're 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 going into the biggest and most epic, greatest spectacle in racing, uh, probably that, that 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 we've seen in in the hundred years or the the hundred runnings. So I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to take it all in, enjoy it. Uh, you know, I'll have uh, my fiance and, and, and our dogs there with me and just kind of uh, taking, all, taking it all in. And, uh, you know, when they start opening ceremonies, you know, we'll start uh, zeroing in on the job that needs to, needs to, needs to happen. And, and certainly uh, there's nothing more comfortable than, than sitting down in the car and, and strapping in. It's, uh, you know, that's kind of our, our home, our zone, uh, where you can clear everything out and uh, go to work. Dogs on the racetrack. That should be your good luck charm. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you very much, Brian. If you're looking for a local kid, a Noblesville grad, to cheer for on Sunday at the 100th running of the Indy 500, we've got Brian Clausen right here.